Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new tutorial. We are officially finished with the one month daily upload. So if you guys missed any of those videos, make sure to go check them out. But if you guys are new to the channel as well, what's up? My name is Jacob. I run Tiny Tapes 2, where I teach you guys how to make music video effects and just editing tutorials in general. I have a website full of editing packs and presets. If you guys want to go check those out, there's tons of stuff on there. But in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create really crazy effects uh, like this overhead tabletop, uh, kind of like nostalgic 3D montage. Yeah, okay. These are really cool for visualizers or for certain parts in a music video. I used it in this Young Crazy music video here that I just recently uh, edited and put out. You guys can see it plays through right here. And I made one more as well with an iPod. So these are super simple to do. I'm just showing you guys how you can make them today in this tutorial. And before I hop into this, I have to tell you guys about my July 4th sale. Right now we're offering buy one, get one free on every single one of our editing packs. The way this works is if you add two editing packs to your cart, the cheaper one out of the two packs will be completely free. This works up to three times. So if you guys add three editing packs to your cart and then add three more, three of those are going to be completely free, which is such a crazy deal. I recommend you guys go ahead and hop on that ASAP because it's going to be over on July 6th. Go check that out, but let's hop right into the video. So pretty much the base of it is, is just the 3D model of the PSP or whatever else it is. And then everything else in it is just like PNGs that have shadows on them and are blended in and everything else, including the tabletop, the headphones, the game, and then the cup fleet here. The only actual 3D thing is the PSP because I feel like doing those in 3D, you can really just get the shadows and everything proper. So as you guys can see here, we have a bunch of different scenes. I'm going to break this down and recreate it and show you guys how you can also put your videos inside of them. So here's the PSP one. And then over here is the iPod one. If we go ahead and play the iPod one through, you guys can see the videos inside of it. And just like the sheer amount of texture on this like 3D model I found is incredible. Like see all the little dirt and everything here. It's just super sick. So the way I find these 3D assets is I actually go over to a website called Sketchfab. Now, once you're over on Sketchfab, it's going to preload to this iPhone that I used in a different video. But if you just search PSP, you have a bunch of models like there's this one here. I can't really remember the exact one I used. Maybe it was this one. Yeah, it was actually this exact one here. So pretty much what you want to do is you want to take your 3D model. You can move it around in here. And you want to go ahead and click down the 3D model right here. And you want to make sure it's a .glb file and then just go with the one with the highest texture size or the highest like megabyte size. Just go ahead and download that. So we're going to hit download and save that. Now it's going to go up here into my downloads. All right, now once you have it downloaded, we're going to go ahead and just make a new composition. You guys can change the size to whatever you want. I'm just going to make it 1920 by 1080 for the sake of this video. And make sure it's 24 frames per second to match your music video composition or whatever you want. So now that we have this here, we're going to get started and drag and drop that 3D model we downloaded in. So bringing in the Sony PSP GLB, we're going to hit OK. You guys can see it's going to open up inside of here. Now you want to click on this arrow here and open up the transform setting. And now we're going to go ahead and scale it down, as you guys can see here. And we're going to go to X rotation here and just rotate it towards us. And then just bringing it down here, we could set it on the center of the table or wherever you want to have it. You can use this orientation to move it around however you guys want. And so what I did for the background texture is I went over and just searched wood table texture. Actually, we want to go into tools here, size and do large. We're going to go ahead and save the image. And we're going to drag and drop it inside of here now and put it in behind the PSP. Hit S and scale it down. Now, what I recommend you guys do now is go into the PSP, right click on it, go and pre-compose it and then hit OK. And now that it's pre-composed, we can actually put shadows on it. So I'm going to search shadow and I'm going to drag and drop drop shadow on it now. You guys can see it adds a bit of a shadow. I'm just going to go ahead and turn the opacity to 100 and turn the softness up. You guys can see there and then turn this back down here and we get a nice little shadow on the wood table. And that's looking pretty good so far. It doesn't look super realistic, but we can change that by adding a lumetric color later. Now, if you like the headphones and the game and the lean cup, all I did for those, let's say we want to do like, a, I just searched Apple headphones on table. There's the exact search there. And I clicked on this image and I went down and clicked on uh, this image. All I did was like copy it. And then I opened it inside of Photoshop, hit new file, create, and then pasted it. And then I went using the pen tool. I cut it out and added it in and everything. Now, I suggest you guys take your time with that, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna drag and drop the headphones in, already cut out. So we're gonna go ahead and press S to change the scale and bring it up. And we could put these like over here or something. And then hitting R, we could rotate it. So you have those in there and then you guys can just combine it with a bunch of other stuff as well. And then we're just gonna copy the drop shadow, clicking on it, pressing Control C and then Control V, and we get a drop shadow on there as well. Now to basically have everything match, what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click, hit new, Go down to adjustment layer and then on this adjustment layer we're pretty much going to search up 
lumetri color here and we're going to turn this into flat footage because we're going to be applying a lot to it after so go inside a basic correction here and we're going to turn the saturation down to something like 40 and then we're going to turn the contrast all the way down and then maybe the shadows up a little bit so it looks super gray like this now we're going to create another adjustment layer and we're going to drag and drop a new lumetri color on top of that and now we're going to go inside of creative and we're going to open up under look we're going to hit none and then hit browse now we're going to be using my ultimate LUT pack to color this that contains over 285 plus unique LUTs. You guys can go ahead and download that below. I'm running a Black Friday BOGO sale right now, so I highly recommend you guys check that out. So I opened up inside of the ultimate LUT pack here, you guys can see there's a ton of LUTs. I'm going to go ahead and pick a completely random one. Let's go with 117. And that looks sick there. We can expand on that. So going back into basic correction on the same adjustment layer, don't go to the old one. We're going to go ahead and turn up the contrast here. Turn down the whites. Turn up the saturation a little bit and then under temperature i'm going to go ahead and turn it a little bit like green and we get a pretty cool looking look just like that as you guys could see it looks hyper realistic especially if you go into like the playstation and buttons and stuff so now to get your video inside of the psp what i recommend you guys do for this is we're going to go over to the psp pre-comp we're going to go up to the pen tool and i'm just going to zoom in and i'm going to cut around this so right where the black border is we're just going to cut around it now that we have it cut around we're going to open up this arrow here go into masks and we're going to invert it you guys could see there it cuts out the screen instead of like vice versa so now that we have this cut out what we can actually do is drag and drop our video inside of here now i'm going to paste the video inside of here and drag that below so now it's a little bit out of scale so we're going to go ahead and open it up go inside of transform here and just scale it down and then i'm going to go ahead and bring it over here and it needs a little bit of rotation so i'm going to go ahead and rotate that now what we're going to do is I'm going to scale it down a little bit more, then move it like into the center and then I'm going to hold command and just move it inwards. And boom, there we go. We have it inside of here now, guys, but it doesn't look amazing. And I'm going to show you guys how you can fix that and make it look like it's actually on the screen. All right. So right now I'm copying and pasting in this like pixelated overlay, as you guys can see here. I just went on Google images and searched like pixel screen overlay. Now I'm going to drag this below just so it's below this pressing S. We're then going to scale it down. And then exactly like before, we're going to go ahead and rotate it and bring it in just so it fits perfectly there. And boom, we have that, but it doesn't have like this really cool glow that most of the screens have. So to add that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, create a new adjustment layer again, and then below everything, like just on top of the PlayStation here, we're going to add a deep glow to this. Now you guys can use regular glow, but I just really prefer deep glow. And then if we apply it, you guys can see it goes crazy. It applies to everything. What you want to do to fix that is go over to your mask tool and we're going to roughly like mask around like this area here leave like a lot of space because you want the glow to kind of protrude so just like that and then now we're going to open up this arrow here go into masks and open up mask one and we're going to turn on the feather as you guys could see there and then turn the mask opacity down and you guys could see just like that we kind of have that glowing on top if we turn the adjustment layer on and off now what you could do is turn the settings down on deep glow which i do recommend you guys do and boom we have that glowing screen look there looking super clean <coughs> you guys can see just like that we have our music video inside of a psp Yo. looks super clean super fire if you guys enjoy tutorials like this make sure to leave a like and subscribe go check out the july 4th sale i'll see you guys in the next video peace